hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to prepare a special drink which you can use at home and, and it's very good for the health and also very rich for children and adults with this you don't need to be buying all these minerals these are natural juice which you're going to be preparing at home so today i'm going to be showing you how to prepare your kunu and you know that kunu is a very rich drink even for pregnant women and even children so i have the all the ingredients which i'm going to be using in preparing the kunu so here is my so here is the potatoes you can see that this is potatoes i have sliced these ones the reason why i have to slice this is because so that when you are grinding it in the engine it can come out easily and smooth so this is the potatoes and most times you can see that you can use the dry ones but preferable the fresh one gives the taste very well and natural than the dry ones because the juice of the dry potatoes has been dried but the fresh one you will see that the juice will still be there and it gives your drink a very nice taste and here i have here my ginger this is ginger that has been cut into smaller pieces so that it can be created well in the engine if it is big you find it difficult in creating in the engine and i have here masori and kanapari these are also flavors added in the kunu so that it also gives them a nice taste so i'll be opening this now so i have to open this you can see how they look this is how it comes out this is masoro and we have kanapari kanapari are the ones that are long you buy them like this when you go to the market you ask for the kunu flavor which they give you this is it this is kanapari so i'll be putting them inside so this is how they all look i've mixed it so now for you to prepare your kunu very rich i have to show you this because some of you that have watched my previous video you find it difficult in preparing it these potatoes that is here this is sweet potatoes i will also still slice this and add to this one that was sliced so you find it difficult in mixing the ingredient because you so you see two buckets and you don't understand how how the mixture came about so now i'm going to be mixing this so now here is the millet i have here you can see so we have the smaller ones here are the millet and we have this red ones which are the guinea corn i am going to be dividing this the one in the bucket will be more than the quantity i'll be taking so i'll just take little quantity here so this quantity now is where i am going to be mixing what i want to mix inside here here i'm not going to be putting any ingredients inside here this will be grounded separately and so here now this is the quantity i'm going to be mixing this ingredient that is the ginger the masori and kanapari and the sweet potatoes that was sliced will be mixed inside here while this other side you are not going to be mixing anything inside this one will be grounded separately first before this one will be grounded after mixing everything so now i'll be pouring in water to wash this out so you can see that you have to wash this out and put so i'll be putting it inside this rubber
So having finished washing it, I'll be pouring in this little one inside the rubber. This is with the ones I am going to be mixing. So after pouring in the millet and guinea corn, the little one that was put in that plastic rubber, I have to bring my ginger and canapari inside. So now, this is the one I am going to be grinding separately and, and I'll grind this separately. So when you go to the engine to grind your kunu, your millet, you first of all grind this one that has no spice inside. After grinding this, then they can now grind this one. And when you grind this, your procedures of preparing it, you don't boil water and put in this particular one after grinding it. You allow this one to stay and when it's fermented, that is when you can pour it inside here. But after grinding this particular one here, this is the one you are going to boil hot water and prepare this. Make sure your water is very hot and prepare it as if you're preparing your pap. Or if you know it as a camel, you prepare it as if you're preparing your camel. So enjoy watching this video and also learn how to prepare your natural drink, Kunu. For a healthy family and a healthy living. If you love this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and also share this video with your friends and families. And mind you, don't fail to tap the bell for notification of new videos. This is Ukeme TV Live. I keep giving you educative methods of preparing your meals. So enjoy watching it. Now I'm going to be grinding this. After grinding it, to see how I'm going to prepare it. So guys, you can see that I have just finished grinding this, grinding this, and you can see that the colors are different. You can see this color. This one in this bucket is a little bit darker, while this has a white color. This is because this is just the millets that was grounded alone and here is the one that the spices were added so now i am not going to be putting hot water into this i will be i'll be boiling hot water into this one and stir it as if i'm preparing my pap in which when it's ready i'll allow this one to remain here for like five hours for it to ferment and after it has been fermented, that is when I'll be pouring it into this rubber. So enjoy watching this video and also learn how to prepare your natural kunu drink. So I have here hot water. I had to boil this hot water to be much because the kunu I am preparing is in a large quantity. So you need large quantity of water to pour inside so that it can stir away. So you can see that this water is boiling very well. Now I'm going to be pouring it inside the kunu that is already grounded and I will prepare it like my akamu. Okay. So you can see how it is as if you're preparing pap. You can see that the texture is now thick. You can see that the texture is thick now and now with this you allow it so so 
so i'll allow it to remain like this then for like five hours before i pour this fermented one and when it's fermented it will rise up so you see the difference When you are making it, if you see that it's too thick, you add the required quantity of water the way you want it. And you keep stirring it. You know how to prepare your pap, so you prepare it in that way. So after this step, you can see how it is. If you allow it, you see that the face will become a kind of stiff and it will turn to your pap. So after this procedure, it's for you to turn in the fermented one into it. Into it and then wash it out and the juice becomes your kunu drink. If you love this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and also share this video with your friends and family. This is a special kind of drink, very nourishable to the body for all kinds of people, children, adults, breastfeeding mothers, and so on. So you can see how thick it is when when you lift it you see the thickness in the kumi.